Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is I Have to Film This Again. I am sorry for the intrusion. So, we're going to start this over, and this is going to be my 2018. So, the first movie is, that I love was Utopia. Um, I highly recommend you watch this one. This one is about a rabbit trying to become a police officer, basically. Um, and it is animated. Number two is It. Love it. Highly recommend it. Watch the first one. Um, definitely it's a scary movie, so go into that. Um, Cars 3, another great sequel to a great series. Um, uh, adaptation, which was Beauty and the Beast. You live action. Love that one. That one's great. Despicable Me 3. Really fun, happy movie. Um, Full Metal Alchemist movie, love that movie. Um, even though I think a lot of people didn't really like that movie, I love it. Absolutely love the scene, um, the scenes in it, very beautiful acting, stuff like that. Um, Avengers Infinity War, um, I also really enjoyed. Love Simon is another one that I highly recommend. Um, and that one is a romance contemporary. We have Tomb Raider, which is an adventure, which I loved, loved. Um, Hotel Transylvania 3, which I also love. This one is about Dracula and them going on vacation. And yes, that one's out to get them. So yes, I love that one. And then we have To All the Girls I Loved Before. Really love this movie. This is about a girl sent to um, accidentally sends out her letters to the guys that she fell in love with or had a crush on, and they um, and they kind of get back with her and communicate with her and stuff. And yes, I really love that one. The next one I read love is Mel Violent. This is also based on a novella. I think I downloaded it or something. I don't remember what it was called. And this one was really, really good. It made me want to watch, read, like, read the, <laughs> the book. So super excited about that one. I love um, this is a horror. It's kind of about a family who searches for ghosts and then like and like doesn't really find, well, they does, they do find something, but I'm not going to spoil it, so it's like something horrible happens, yeah, and it's so good, highly recommend that one, another horror movie was Before You Wake, and this is by Max Flanagan, which is probably my favorite director of horror of all time, so yes, I have watched that one, and it's kind of about a little boy who dies in the bathroom, in the tub and the mom kind of get go get dealing with that cope and they get another child and he dreams about his mom um, or cut that out he dreams um, whenever he has dreams he comes to life so whenever he has nightmares he comes to life whenever he has uh, good dreams it comes to life it's very very great um, the next a uh, movie I watched was The Ritual. I uh, love this movie. Highly recommend this movie too. This one's about, um, it's kind of about these three people, or these, one or three, I think there's four or five, um, men who go out into woods and hike for a friend. And um, it's just kind of in honor of his death because he dies in the beginning. It's like so so awesome and I love this movie because of the flashbacks it kind of flashes back to when he died with the main character and stuff when his friend died and stuff and that he couldn't save his friend yes and yes and that was also based on a book I need to read the book so bad that I'm probably gonna um, download it on audible whenever I definitely want to read it the next one is The Song of the Sea. This one is so great. Um, this one is kind of like an indie type of uh, movie, and it's really good. It's about a girl um, who's like 
she has a magical ability to turn into a swan. So, um, and, you know, it's just got so much mytho mythology around it. And it's just really, really magical. And it made me cry. It was just like the mom in me made me cry. It was just such a great movie. Um, the next one was Christopher Robin. Um, and this one was really, really good. I highly recommend watching Christopher Robin. Um, and because it's just so heartwarming. You can watch it any time of the year. And this one I got from Netflix as well, and I absolutely loved it. It was just, the voices are great, the puppetry, all the realistic kind of teddy bear type feel to it and stuff. It was just fantastic. Uh, the next movie I loved is The Meg. Um, I love this movie so much. It was so good, too. Um, and that was also based on a book. I have not read the book yet. Um, although I do think it's really funny because there's a girl that goes topless in the book. It's hilarious. I was like, dude, I want to read that. But yeah. Um, and the Meg is kind of uh, about the shark that comes and they have to, like, kill the shark. And yeah, it's, it's also hilarious. Because I love watching this type of horror movies because it's hilarious. Um, and then um, I also watched The Christmas Chronicle, which is another really great Christmas movie. I'm going to be watching that every Christmas now. I love that movie so much. It's so magical and warm and really great. And it just gives you into the magical Christmas spirit. And then The Star is another new one, new Christmas movie. I also watched... And I absolutely, thumbs up, enjoyed that movie. That one was kind of the story of Jesus, but told in through a donkey's perspective. So, yeah, it was really, really good. So, that is all the movies that um, I watched. So, I am so excited to be watching new movies this year. Um, I don't know how much I'll be doing that because I have to catch up and all this stuff on my reading and have a great day. Bye!